sometimes with this bird, like Ann Peters, you have to learn to read what they're going to be doing. They can be very difficult, but if you learn the movement, their behavior, and their habitat, you pretty much can predict where they're going to sit. So we're going to keep working on it. This is so thrilling. We've got a pair of black crowned headpitters circling us here in the forest. And what we're trying to do is anticipate where they're going to land. They love mossy logs and rocks. So we're going to try and get our cameraman set up to film them, hopefully running along a log or on a rock. This is going to be very, very tough work, but we're going to stay at it. Carlos, is that another bird? It sounds like there's two birds here. I think we've got we've got two black crown ant here. We've got a pair doing their circle around their territory. We're going to stay here, stay put, be patient, and see if one can come into view. Look, where are they? On the tree, This black-crowned antpitter is one of the most beautiful of the antpitter species. It's a large antpitter, and it's got this beautiful streaking and marking and blotching on a white belly, and it's also got this beautiful black crown with a nice russet coloring on the back. This is a stunning antpitter, probably the most beautiful of all the antpitter species. Oh man, Carlos, that was so awesome, man. Thanks so much. That's a golden bird, black-crowned antpitter, right here in El Valle with my good mate Carlos Bethencourt. Awesome bro, thanks a lot.